the first half of the 20th century, economists generally believed that inflation and unemployment were independent problems in an economy. In 1958, British economist A.W. Phillips challenged this assumption when he analyzed the relationship between the increase in wages over time, known as wage inflation, and unemployment for the United Kingdom. He observed that there was a strong inverse relationship between wage inflation and unemployment. An inverse relationship between two quantities means that the more of one that exists, the less of the other exists, and vice versa. Phillips observed that years with low unemployment tended to have high inflation, and years with high unemployment tended to have low inflation. Economists proceeded to analyze wage and unemployment data for other developed economies, often substituting price inflation, the increase in prices for products or services, and observed the same behavior. The graph of the inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment became known as the Phillips curve. According to the Phillips curve, policymakers cannot influence either unemployment or inflation without affecting the other. Instead, there would be a trade-off where a small decrease in unemployment would be accompanied by a small increase in inflation. In principle, the Phillips curve would give a deterministic relationship between unemployment and inflation, meaning that the amount that exists of one quantity depends entirely upon the amount that exists of the other quantity. Thus, policymakers cannot simultaneously control inflation and unemployment. In the 1970s, economists began to question the assumptions behind the Phillips curve. They noticed that the one-to-one -one relationship between unemployment and inflation no longer existed. American economists Edmund Phelps and Milton Friedman asserted that the trade-off between inflation and unemployment only occurs in the short run. In the long run, regardless of the inflation rate, the unemployment rate gravitates towards a natural rate of unemployment. This natural rate is the amount of unemployment that occurs when the economy is producing at potential output. The conclusion of this assertion is that there are multiple Phillips curves available for an economy, and the relationship between unemployment and inflation depends on the economy's natural rate of unemployment, the aggregate supply in the economy, and whether the economy has adjusted to reach the natural state of unemployment.